What's up boys and girls, it's that chief guy here, and coming at you with our first ever YouTube video, and we're playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Now, for those of you that don't know, Alpha Sapphire is uh, a remake of the original Ruby and Sapphire games that released Pokemon back in 2004. Now, what we're going to be doing today is a randomizer Nuzlocke. And the randomizer Nuzlocke is essentially a set of rules that I'm going to have to follow throughout this gameplay. And it's going to make the actual gameplay a lot harder and more challenging, but at the same time a lot more interesting. So let's get right into it and I'll explain what the rules of the Nuzlocke are. So the rules of the Nuzlocke are any Pokemon that faints is going to be considered dead and must be released or put in the Pokemon storage system permanently. The player, uh, being me, may only catch the first Pokemon encountered in each area and none else. If the first Pokemon encountered faints or flees, there are no second chances. And if the first encounter in that area is a double battle or in dark grass, the player may choose which of the two Pokemon they would like to catch. If there is a static encounter in the area, the player is allowed to capture them despite already capturing a Pokemon in that area. Additionally, shiny Pokemon also do not apply to this rule, also known as the shiny clause. Uh, other near universally rules are such as the general consensus is that players must also nickname all of their Pokemon, and we'll be picking a theme later on uh, for the sake of forming stronger emotional bonds. Uh, another one is if I black out or white out, or if all my Pokemon faint in a given battle, that is going to be considered game over, unless you guys deem it you want to unless you guys deem it so. So you want to see more uh, gameplay. Uh, Another strongly implied prohibition is uh, we cannot voluntarily reset the game or restart. So if something goes poorly, I'm going to just have to stick with it. So if a Pokemon dies and I don't want it to, that's unfortunately the way the game goes. All right, so let's get into this. Let's play some Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. All right, going to pick English because I am English. And we're going to begin game. Let's go. Saw a little zigzagoon there. There's Latias. cursor out of the way so you don't have to see that. Alright, let's get right into it. Alright, so here we got Professor Birch. And let's, uh, let's see, he's got, ooh, an Azamorel. That's what you call a Pokemon. Ooh. Oh, look at that. We've got a nice little uh, Game Boy like device. Oh my god. My god, that truck was taking that corner way too hot. So, you know, it's a video game. That thing would have tumbled right over otherwise. Aw, he's so cute. That guy looks like, uh... He should be on the top of a... Cereal box or something. Apologies if it, you know, cuts out from time to time. The, uh, emulator I'm running is just having a couple hiccups, so... That is my apologies. Ah, uh, Ah. Uh. I don't know. Am I a boy? Or am I a girl? Am I a boy? Or am I a girl? I'm a boy. That's yeah, a fair question to ask. Alright, um... 
I hope we can get it in here. Uh, Alright, uh, Just gonna add the... Oh, I don't know if we're gonna get it. Well, maybe if I could type. Oh, here, you know what we'll do? I don't know what we can do. Alright, Chief Guy. Alright, our name is Chief Guy. Absolutely spectacular. I absolutely am, Chief Guy. Ah, uh, I see. Well, I... How are you talking to me, actually? Oh, I am absolutely ready. Thank you, Professor. Let's get into this. All right, so we start. Oh, <laughs> okay. We start in the back of a van. Man, if I had a nickel for every time that's happened to me in real life. Ooh, sunny day. Good day to play some frisbee. <gasps> mom? Are you my mom? Yeah, why'd you put me back there anyways? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give her a voice. And uh make her come to life a little. I think I'll do that for the rest of the characters. Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. Uh, well, frankly, um... I mean, it's nice and all, but why on earth did you stick me in the back of that truck, Mom? I thought you loved me. It has a quaint feel, but it looks nice. And it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. And you get your own room this time, that chief guy. Come on, you have to see inside. Oh my goodness, I hope so. Oh, I wonder if I have a TV in my room. Oh, that'd be sick! See, Chief Guy? Isn't it- Oh, man, I totally butchered your voice right there. See, Chief Guy? Isn't it nice in here, too? Moving companies? The moving companies Pokemon even- Oh, wow, I can't read right now. The moving companies Pokemon even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They really make moving a cinch! I mean, I guess so. Thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. Can I get a fist bump? No? Alright. <laughs> you should go upstairs and see your new room upstairs, that chief guy. Woo! <gasps> Daddy bought me a clock. Oh my god, I cannot wait. You'll need to set time, though. Ugh. <sighs> Freaking daylight savings time. Alright, what do we got? Uh, clock on the wall isn't moving. Alright, you've got to set the time. Alright, and I'm gonna set it to... I, I won't set it, I guess. I'll let the game do that for me. Alright, the hour at hand is set to 12 and the minute 59. Oh, okay, so it's... I'm assuming 1pm. This isn't military time. Of course it would be 1 p.m. How do you like your new room, that chief guy? Good! Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything to him downstairs, too. It is really so nice having Pokemon around to help us. Well, I mean, I really hope they're, you know, helping free of will. I'd hate to have, you know, slave labor. Oh, but you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Uh, alright. I've got, uh, a book. Some pens. <gasps> a chest. Can I open it? No. Absolutely not. 
That chief guy's notebook is full of adventure rules he's jotted down. <gasps> Number one, open the menu button with the X button. That's a really good adventure rule. <gasps> and save. Imagine just like running around in real life and just someone just kind of like stops, opens up his notebook, and it's like, all oh, right, I've saved my data. And you're like, huh? What are you talking about? Wow, I would love to have a Snorlax doll in real life and just kind of like get all cozy with it. Big plush way to sleep. Mm. <gasps> Dad's on TV. It's the Petalburg Gym. Baby Dad will be on TV. Interviewer, we brought you this report live from in front of Petalburg Gym. Next up, a special look at a long awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Oh, well, it's already ended. Yeah. Thanks, Ma. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. But that reminds me, one of Dad's friends lives in this town. Really? Who? Professor... Oh, Birch. Birch. Professor Birch is his name. Oh, uh, that would have been unfortunate if he had a different name. High school would have been rough. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Alrighty. Here we go. I'm gonna go introduce myself, Ma. Alright, so, you know, I should preface that this is going to be the introductory video. We're, uh, we're basically going to be getting right to the, um, the starter Pokemon, and I'll pick up the rest of it in the next episode. Just kind of getting a lay of the land right now, and getting the feet wet. So, uh, let's see. Uh, alright, Professor Birch's Pokemon Lab. Let's, let's hop right in. Uh, Birch? Professor's way on field work. There we go, not here. Well, I guess I'll have to tell you what fieldwork that is. Fieldwork is when you're studying things in the natural environments, like out in the fields, that uh, makes sense, and mountains instead of out in the laboratory. The prof isn't one for doing desk work, really. He's the type who would rather go outside, experience things, than read about them here. He's probably doing a survey of Route 101. Now it's just outside of this town. Oh man. If he's at Route 101 in my town, oh man, I can find him in real life. Aw, oh, sweet, I can start running. Hey, if it ain't little Timmy. It's not safe to go out there if you don't have any Pokemon with you. Oh, well. Thanks, Timmy. Preach. Alright, the athletic skills of a 13-year-old boy cannot get on the rough patch of grass. I probably got some, like, fresh Yeezys that I don't want to get dirty. Oh, hello, ma'am. Don't mind me, I'm just barging in. Hi, uh, I'm, I'm Chief Guy. Hi. Nice to meet you. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Oh, wow. She has been so excited about making a new friend. She should be in her room upstairs. I hope you'll go and introduce yourself. Uh, all right. Strange kid, you know, barges in the room. The mother invites me to go upstairs to his, her, her daughter. Her daughter's, all right, you know what, we'll just go. We'll just go, make introductions, we're friendly. Oh my god, thank god she just finished changing. That would have been awful. We awkward! Howdy ho, ma'am. Who are you? Oh, man. oh, you must be Chief Guy. Your move was today, huh? Yep. Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. Hi. I actually have this dream of becoming Pokemon friends with Pokemon all over the world. Still can't read today. And then when Dad, oh, I mean Professor Birch, told me about you moving here, Chief Guy, well, I was hoping you'd be nice and be friends. That's just silly, isn't it? Are you kidding me? I would love to be friends with you. You seem absolutely adorable. I've just met you, right, Chief Guy? So what am I talking about? Are you blushing? Oh my god. What, I... I'm making a move on her and I'm not trying to. Oh my god. Yeah, I, you know what, I think it's good. Yeah, just go go help your dad catch the Pokemon. Woo! And she just left us in her room? Alright, you know what? I'm, I'm just not gonna question it. This has already been a very weird experience in the Birch household. But very welcoming. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. As I walked by, 
my head actually like looks at the uh, the signs there. That's so cool. Hey, it's Timmy again. Why are you facing this way? Well, do you have a? What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. Well, I mean, uh, maybe if I had a Pokemon, Timmy, you'd let me go help. I'm just gonna be rebellious. Oh, sweet. Oh, hello! Aw, oh, he's so adorable. He's just looking to give you some love and some kisses. He's giving you kisses. Oh, no, you're, you're not. It's not kisses. It's it's very bad bite marks. Pokeballs. Oh, okay. So, now that we're in the first step of the game, as soon as I press A, normally with Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you would have three different uh, Pokemon starters. Torchic, Mudkip, or Trico. A fire, water, and grass type Pokemon. However, with the randomizer, I'm going to be getting three options for random Pokemon, and I'll just having to be, I'll just have to pick one of the random Pokemons, and we'll just kind of start this adventure off from here. So let's see what our options are. Whoa! Alright. So we've got the fire type Poppip, not entirely true. The grass type Aaron, or the water type Pokemon Dratini. Well, I think I'm gonna want to go with uh, Dratini because I've always loved this Pokemon. It's so cool. Uh, it'd be cool to start with a water type Pokemon Dratini. So let's go and start with that. Yes. All right, we're gonna get right into our first battle of this playthrough. Puchina. Alright. Gonna press fight. Oh, I have Thunder Wave. Nice. I don't really have that great of a moveset, though. But alright. So. I paralyzed him because I'm really not sure how much rap is gonna do. Alright. I'm gonna do rap. Jeez. So we're gonna go for Leo. This is actually getting a little problematic. All right, sweet. So we got the, para the full paralyze on. Rap's gonna keep doing damage over time, but the problem is, is we just started off and our move set isn't the greatest. So what might end up happening is we might lose. And if that happens, oh uh, well, uh, you know what? I say that, and it's looking a lot more likely that we'll win. Yeah, so, what I'm thinking... Uh, we're gonna have to get a good training session in with the teeny. Man, as great of a Pokemon as it is, it's really lacking right now with the moves. It's so weak. But it looks like we're gonna be able to take it out with one last final wrap, and we will defeat this Pokemon. Awesome. Poochie ain't a family. Phew! I went to the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon. Actually, oh, uh, you know what? Let's make him a cowboy. Phew! I went to the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I suddenly jumped. You saved my hat. Thanks a lot, partner. Had a little extra pizzazz there. Oh? But you're Norman's boy, chief guy. I didn't even realize who you were at first, young man. You've grown into quite the young fella. This isn't the place for chat, though. Come on along to my land. Alright. So I'm getting dragged back to Little Root Town. Against my will. That's a funny walk. <laughs> so, Chief Guy, I he I've heard so much about you from your father. But he said that you don't... <laughs> I am so bad with impressions, but I'll, I'll just keep sucking it up. Get through it. But he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. That's true. 
That was quite the performance back there. It looks like you really are your father's son. Oh, yes. Say thanks for rescuing me out there. How about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? And I received, you know, Mudkip. Ah, you're at Why not, Why not give a nickname to that Mudkip? Sure, why not? Alright, so this is first rule uh, of our Nuzlocke, is we have to nickname all the Pokemon. So, let's see. I'm thinking we're going to nickname Dratini Linguini, because he kind of looks like a spaghetti. Alrighty. Lin. Oops. Lin. Oh boy. No. Oh! Well. <laughs> Oops. Oh uh, well. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Sounds good. Oh man. Alright, so what did I name it? I didn't even see. I accidentally pressed the enter button. And, uh, now we've nicknamed Drutini to Linguini to instead something else. Alright, so we're gonna have to go to 103 and we're gonna have to meet up with May. Alright, cool. Uh, alright. Uh, trying to remember how to get into my menu here. Here we go. Pokemon. Linguo. Alright, so we've got. <laughs> Oh, that's... Restore what? What is that restore? Oh, okay. So not health. Uh, restores health. Alright. Well, alright. So we've got our first Pokemon Linguo in this adventure. So I think I'm going to cut it off here. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification icon so you can get more videos in the future. 